Greetings guys, this is Magnani Mas Lectures Online. We continue treating test 2 question paper of engineering science and 3 which was written on the 28th of uh, October 2019. This is question 5 which deals about electri electricity. Question 5 and then here's the information question five says in a circuit two cells of six volt each are connected in parallel to form a battery the internal resistance of each cell is one ohm the battery is further connected in series with a five ohm resistor and with three lamps of seven eight and nine ohm respectively connected in parallel then 5.1 says make a neat drawing of the circuit 5.1.1 the sec calculate the total current of the circuit 5.1.2 the potential difference over the battery and then 5.2 says the name plate of a domestic electric heater indicates 20 220 volts and 2500 watts if the cost of electricity is 18 cents per kilo hour calculate the cost of having the heater on for 10 hours a day for one year so let's answer the questions 5.1 says make a neat drawing we are told that we've got two cells that are connected in parallel so we go and then since they are connected in parallel to share the same node on both sides so this is the first node and then the battery is further connected in series with 5 ohm resistor so let's see this is our 5 ohm resistor plus negative this 6 volt this 1 ohm and then this one ohm the internal uh, resistance or the six volt not 64 six volt and then we are told that this is further connected to the resistors in parallel or lamps that have certain resistance they're in parallel and it's three of those so then we go they share the same node on both sides then complete the circuit like this then we're told that it's 7 ohm 7 ohm 8 ohm and 9 ohm should be aware that these resistors share the same node yet yeah, this is the same node also share this same node since they are in parallel in the batteries they share this same node and also the same node on the other side since they are in parallel so we are told to calculate uh, the total uh, current and for us to do that that means we have to calculate uh, what we call the total resistance of the circuit then we use v equals to i r the total voltage equals to the total current times the total resistance so let's calculate our total resistance rt is going to be r internal plus 5 or let's say r series rt equals to r internal plus r series plus r parallel r parallel since the, it's three of those we can just use the general formula which is r parallel equals to one over seven plus one over eight plus one over nine which is equals to over seven let's punch this into the calculator 
7 plus 1 over 8 is 1 over 9 equals to 191 over 504. Then we Uh, take we put uh, this to the power negative and this to the power negative so that we can uh, make r to be the the numerator and one the denominator and we're going to end up having five zero four over one nine one volts if you write this in decimal form it's going to be zero point three seven nine ohms and then R internal, since they are in parallel and it's two of those, it's going to be 1 times 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 0 0.5 ohms. You can also use the general formula to calculate this, but since it's two, it's better to use this shortcut. Therefore, RT equals to 0 0.5 plus R series, which is 5 plus r parallel which is 0 0.379 so rt is going to be 0 0.5 plus 5 plus 0 0.379 punching that into the calculator we get 5.879 rt therefore vt equals to it r T. IT equals to VT over RT, which is 6 over 5.879. This gives us 6 divided by that, it gives us 1.021 amps. Therefore, our R parallel it's going to be four five zero four over one nine one which if we write in decimal form it's going to be five zero four over one nine one it's going to be two point six three eight or three nine actually three nine ohms and then are internal since they're in series and it's only they're in parallel and it's only two. You can say one times one over one plus one, which is 0 0.5 ohms. Therefore, RT equals to R internal, which is 0 0.5 plus R series, which is 5 plus R parallel, which 2.639. If you add this, they give us. Let's punch this into the calculator 0 0.5 plus 5 plus 2.639. This goes 8.139 ohms. Therefore, VT equals to ITRT. Making IT subject of the formula equals to VT over RT 6 over 8.139. We get 6 divided by that divided by that it's going to give us 0 0.737 amps that's a uh, 5.1.1 calculating total current it's 0 0.737 amps then moving to 5.1.2 which says the potential difference across the battery so this one to me it's not that much clear whether it's the potential difference across the battery which means due to the internal resistance or due to the circuits uh, resistance so i'll just calculate for the circuit resistance which will be v equals to i total times the resistance of the circuit of which rc equals to 
R series plus R parallel, which will be 5 plus 2.639. This gives us 7.639 ohms. Then our V is going to be 0 0.737 times 7.639. We get, let's calculate that, 0 0.737 times 0.639. This gives us 5.629. For three volts, this is five point six three volts. That's a question five point one point two. And then going to question five point two, which is the nameplate of a domestic electric heater in the case. 220 volts and 2500 watt if the cost of electricity is 18 cents per kilowatt calculate the cost of having the heater on for 10 days uh, 10 hours a day for one thousand for one year so we're going to say cost equals to per unit times tariff times the time so to convert our consumption to per unit we got to take our power to kilowatts since per unit is kilowatt hour so we're going to see two thousand five hundred over one thousand times the tariff which is 18 cents 0.18 times the time which is 10 hours per day but then we're told that it's for a year this is time one year and in a year we've got 365 days time 365 days this we punch this into the calculator sometimes it's uh, much better to bring the time this way year when calculating to per unit bring your time here so that you calculate your per unit for not you take your your power to per unit uh, whereby it's kilowatt hour so you may take your time this side instead of making it the last one this side can put it here you can see 2500 over 1000 times your time times the tariff it's still the same thing so let's punch this into the calculator it's going to be 1000 2500 over 1000 times 18 cent 0 0.18 times 10 since this for 10 hours times one year times 365 days in a year and this gives us 1642.5 of which it's 1642 rand 50 cent and let's say for instance we consider like a leap year for a leap year we've got uh, one year equals to 366 days so costs is going to be 2500 over 1000 times 0 0.18 times 10 times 1 times 366 and it's going to give you 1647 rands and we are done
with question five, which is the last question of the question paper.